Hello, hello. Another boring Nokia, and this one even looks like the one that we already did before. Uh, this is the Nokia 3330. 3330. This is really difficult to pronounce. Uh, it looks exactly like the 3310. Of course it does, because it's a successor, a direct successor coming just a year after. Um, a lot of people back then criticized the Nokia 3310, that it didn't support WAP services, which was kind of common even in the low-end entry-level phones like this one. So this is pretty much the reason why this came out. And, uh, well, it turned out that nobody really cared that much about any of these because most of us were like teenagers who didn't really have enough money for WAP services anyway, so... Mm, whatever. Uh, it's a still nice... Uh, st nice device, I'd say. Uh, it looks exactly the same from all sides, pretty much. The colors are swapped. Uh, on the case, but you could actually replace it with any other case you wanted. This is the off switch at the top, which is the same. On the left, we have the buzzer for ringtones, which is also exactly the same. Uh, the connectors for charger, uh, the 2.5mm headphone jack, the uh, the microphone, of course. Um, buttons are exactly the same as is the screen. Nothing on the right. There we go. And underneath the battery, no, that was funky. So we, here we have the battery, uh, made in Czech Republic, rechargeable lithium ion battery. Yeah, um, originally this phone still shipped with the, the nickel batteries, not the uh, lithium one. So this is not exactly original, but it doesn't matter. It was exactly the same. And here we have some information about the phone itself. Unfortunately, it always says made by Nokia. So we don't know which country this comes from. It's a bit disappointing. 3330. I don't know why I have such a problem pronouncing this word, but I just do. Well, that's that's fun. You can put it back together and switch it on. No, slowly but surely. Hello, that's the welcome note. Uh, which I set myself, by the way, SIM card registration failed, of course it did. Uh, okay, so let's pretend we have midnight, 1st, 1st, 2020, which is not true, but it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, this is another difference apart from web services, <laughs> uh, animated screensavers. Okay, so yeah, at least somehow this phone needed to be made appealing to the young audience as we are. And it worked back then, I remember. Because this was really cool back in 2001. I was 15 years old, you know, I was the target audience for phones like these. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the menu and I think we can only focus on differences of this 3330 from the original 3310. <sighs> That is really difficult. And I will put uh, the link to my videos about 3310, yeah, 3310. Uh, also into the description to this video. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, uh, there is one difference in the phone book as well from the original. If I go to options, memory status, yes, now we have a memory for 100 contacts. Not something that we would be too excited about back then, but yeah, one more hundred, 100 contacts more, basically. That's what I want to say. Okay, uh, the rest is the same, so that's fine. Messages, we would appreciate some memory for text messages, as a matter of fact, you know, because this phone obviously is still made for people who do a lot of texting, and unfortunately, yeah, you could only store text messages on a SIM card, which was not much, it was like 10 text messages, and then the phone would just scream at you that memory is full. So yeah, it was not very fantastic, but what was fantastic was the typing itself, because we have a lovely keypad, plastic, and was very comfortable and fast and everything. Look, hello. How are you 
doing question mark. That simple. Okay, um, we also have some picture messages because this uh, supports uh, Nokia smart messaging. That was a standard of its own. It was not the same as EMS, but it pretty much worked the same purpose. Uh, we're not going to take a look at the picture messages right now because we are going to take a look at that uh, in the section dedicated to screensavers because here in the picture messages, those screensavers were there, but only as static pictures. And that was not as exciting as the uh, animations. So we'll take a look at them separately. We used to have the chat thing, which is exactly the same as on a 3310. So that means it's just regular text messages uh, arranged as conversations, you know, the way we are used to having our text messages now on our smartphones. Yeah, and back then nobody was really using it. And we have a call register, which of course is just a list of calls, nothing else. So there we go. I've got tones. Um, yeah, there is going to be a separate video on ringtones again, not only because this phone I think deserves it, but also because some of the ringtones are different, I guess. Probably just about three of them. Three ringtones are different from the original Nokia 3310. But still, we have, okay, I'll just make a separate video. That's fine. And uh, we don't really have an option to select whichever ringtone for the text messages. So only these basic options here available. Uh, you may remember the Nokia 3315 which was like a firmware, an official firmware for the 3310, because it, otherwise it was a model of its own. And it could do it. It could actually set uh, whichever ringtone for your message alert tone. This one cannot do it, because it, in fact, this is an older model than the 3315 it was. I'm really sick of uh, saying the word 30 by now. So, um, okay. Uh, very well, yeah, vibrations, of course, and other things. Here we have the screensaver. Let's take a look at the screensavers. So, we have the heart with the wings, as we could see. This is really nice. Some of these other profile pictures, like this one, a group of smileys jumping up and down. Cute. This guy who is singing, obviously. That would normally suggest that your ringtones are on and you have, you know, a ringtone melody thing or whatever. <laughs> this dude, okay, is just whistling one note which suggests this is a single beep profile setting. This one? He's listening to something, but he's absolutely quiet. So this is for the silent profile. Nokia logo. Changing to connecting people. Really nice. And some static pictures like the panda and the cassette recorder. Uh, cake. Some kind of sun. Flowers. People dancing. A beach with a parasol and uh, things. Uh, coffees and this okay <laughs> so whichever picture whichever animation you wanted to could be uh, appearing on the home screen that was a really cool feature back then i've got boring settings let's go through them very quickly uh there's actually nothing new here in every section let's take a look at languages we have english german french italian dutch turkish an automatic option okay security which is pin codes and stuff uh call divert still very important function i suppose and games um i'm not sure whether there's some yeah bumper is actually a new game so the snake is still the same oh, oh okay okay i almost bit myself didn't mean to it's a classic snake. Everybody's familiar with this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Let's move on to Space Impact. Everybody familiar with Space Impact as well. Not my favorite game, to be honest. But yeah, how do we move about? Like this, I see. Pew, pew. Okay, you're supposed to actually 
should with these avoid those and that was the whole game yeah just got killed uh, i've got bumper which is uh, basically a um, that's a game of pinball let's play a new game here a game of pinball when you shoot this ball and then it yeah yeah you can control flippers somehow maybe you can move the whole table or something i have no idea what i'm doing obviously <laughs> i don't know how to play this i'm bantumi I enjoyed playing Bantumi, I remember, but uh, on the other hand, it was very predictable, especially in those lower levels of the game. And pairs, yeah. Let's play puzzle. Uh, what's the difficulty here? Oh, the highest one. I'll go to the lowest one because I, yeah, I want to win this game. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Four cards only. Can you actually see anything? This is so tiny. Yeah, I've just won. Could you actually see what happened? I, I barely could. But I found both, uh, both pairs. That was the idea. So the calculator here is... Yeah, you cannot divide by zero, even in this calculator. But otherwise, it works. It's a calculator. And also you could calculate... Uh, uh, currency is, yeah, obviously. <laughs> currency converter was built in. It was not up to date, of course. Uh, reminders. We don't have any reminders. We can add a new reminder. Like, um, okay, if I turn on the potatoes. Oh, yeah, I was right. Potatoes. That'd be the best reminder. Um... Yeah, we can be reminded at 12 o'clock about potatoes. That's how it worked. I guess you could have only up to like 10 reminders, which is not too many. This phone also didn't have any kind of calendar or anything, but well, <laughs> at least something, I suppose. I've got clock, of course. Alarm clock, that was not a recurrent alarm clock, so you would always have to wind up with um, new time again and again. Oh, well, that's great. Clock, date, stopwatch was there. Countdown timer, like this. And profiles, which... That, that, well, that's basically the same thing as with the tone settings. Only have those multiple profiles that you could then select with pressing the power button short. Like this, for instance. Uh, and we are at the end. We have services here, which is WAP, as I was talking about before. Of course, now it doesn't work, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was a thing. It doesn't have any GPRs or anything like that. It'll be just CSD, so nothing really that exciting about this, you know. And uh, that's it. We can actually switch it off, rather. Great. That's the whole thing. Uh, obviously, if you are interested in more details, uh, again, you can find uh, the link to the Nokia 3310 review in the description below. And this is it. I hope you liked this video as well. And, well, we'll see you next time. Take care.